I use my 20 years of experience to help you grow your business. So I've gone through the similar situations you've been in where maybe there's been no phone calls, no business, and I've looked for ways of increasing my marketing efforts, perhaps some new ideas of strategies when it comes to blogging and trying to get new ideas as to how I can use keywords and search engine optimization for my business. And like you, I've been really disappointed where people promise the world, they promise you number one, but they never deliver. So this video, as with all my videos, is my kind of experience that I'm now using to help you grow your small business too. And hopefully you're going to find this particular tool I'm going to show you today really useful because I've been using it for the last few months and I found it's been a fantastic way to understand what are people looking for, what keywords are they using, and how can I make videos and blog articles that combine the two together to give me a good portion share of the search engine traffic out there. Let's just be clear, first of all, that even though I don't totally want to support Google, you can't get away from the fact that probably around about 95% of the traffic on the internet comes from Google. And don't forget, too, that it's not just Google, but it's also YouTube. In fact, around about 5% of traffic comes from YouTube. Why? Well, next time you search for something in Google, you'll notice the suggestions are also some of YouTube videos. Who owns YouTube? Google does. So you can't ignore that having a YouTube channel for your business, demonstrating products, showing how, how to use certain products or services that you produce for your business, that in itself will give you a chunk, a new share to take back that traffic to your products on your website or your services. So I'm gonna show you a tool today that will help you to know what keywords you can use and how you can double up those keywords so that not only are they for YouTube, but also for the search engine traffic. And I'll show you how I do it in real life. So once you've watched the video once, at the end of the video, you'll see I've also got uh, an invitation where you can use that tool that I use in the video for free. So use it, see how you get on with it, for me, it's absolutely changed the way I do my videos and my blogging. So I look forward to seeing you there afterwards and also on a video that will show you how you can use video even more so when it comes to video conferencing and uploading videos on Google My Business. But for now, let's focus on the importance of using YouTube as a way of combining it with your local SEO traffic. So I'm going to jump straight in and show you this tool. Okay, so Morning Fame is a really excellent uh, way of using a tool that's going to give you that information that you need if you want to make videos on YouTube. But also on top of that, also if you want to make a video that you're then going to convert into an article or a blog post, or you're going to use it on Google My Business to promote a product, this also will be helpful. And also if you've been successful with your videos, then you'll find that this is also a good way to just optimize with the successful videos you've had for your business. So if you just look down here, for example, these are some of the, the videos that I've recently released. You can see that the, with the views or the duration or the subscribers gained, that these have been popular. So what this does, what Morning Fame does, is it looks at your successful ones and suggests that maybe you try and work at, at in, you know, inclu including these again, this type of thing, and it recommends that you can grow your channel. So of course, if you grow your Facebook channel, you can get more links back to your business and that will give you more inquiries. So hopefully you can see there's a link between growing your video channel like YouTube, which is owned by Google, and then that benefiting your website. It keeps people on your website if they're watching a video. And it also means that you can combine the article, the keywords in both. Now, this is one of the most important parts of why I'm, I'm using Morning Fame as part of my process of building videos on YouTube and for my blog is down to this. Now, if I click on here, Google search support. Now at the moment, um, I've got this off. If I turn this on, what it does is if I now do a search for a topic, I can see whether this topic not only will be any good for YouTube, but whether it's any good for Google itself. Now, what does that mean? What it means is, is that if people are searching on YouTube and they're using these exact words, then it will give me one tick. If they're using these exact words on Google and YouTube, 
it will give me two ticks. So let me give you an example. If I do a, so web designer near me was something we covered in a recent video. So if you haven't seen that, then you can look that up. So is that really searched for? So you notice here, web designer near me. Now we'll come to what these are in a moment. But you notice here it's got two ticks, 51. Now if I click on that, I can choose to use this search term on the basis that it's a common one. It's used by YouTube and Google. Um, just for clarity, if I take off this, you'll notice it's only got one tick. All of these have got one ticks. And that's because ultimately this is a YouTube tool. But the fact it has the ability to tell us whether it's used in Google searches as well makes it even more useful. And you notice here, this is as well web design, but web development isn't searched for that's got decent traffic. And then the fact that these are crosses implies that people aren't actually looking for that. And you might think, well, surely people are. But what that means is, is that exact key phrase doesn't have a great deal of volume, whereas that exact key phrase does, and this one in particular does. And of course, long-term phrases even more so. And why is it that people are typing all of that in, but not that? Well, it's because most of the time now with searches, whether it's in YouTube or in Google search, you'll notice that Google is predicting what it is you're searching for. And most people press enter without writing it all in. So it means then that quite often a search term is being suggested by Google and most people are taking it. So these here are suggested by Google. And yet how many people have optimized a video and a blog for those keywords. So this is why I'm really excited and this is why I want you to, to, to give this a trial. I'll put the link down below and it's on an invite basis only. So I'm inviting everyone that's uh, subscribed to my channel to try this out, it's free, it's a fantastic tool and use it for keywords, whether it's for your videos or whether it's for you want to use it for say a blog. But either way, you can now get an idea of the volume. Let's just go a bit further though. The fact that these are red and this is green, what does this imply? Well, if I click on it, and then if I then use it for a search term, now this, this is what I've suggested, web designer near me. And because I've got only a few thousand subscribers at the moment, it's saying it's, it's too much competition. And because again, the views are very high, there's a lot of traffic, then again, it's beyond my ability. And you might think, well, why is it that I can't reach these things? Well, it's because my, my channel is still growing. At the moment, I've got um, well, just over three or near, near 3,000 subscribers. And yet, uh, this is all based on the last 10 videos as well. So it might not be totally true, but I can get the relevance. I can get in here. Um, and it does mean that it is possible to achieve it because no one's highly optimized for those keywords on, in particular on YouTube. So you notice, for example, this is the, the results in YouTube and it's suggesting that I could possibly come in at number four. So this is a gateway video, number four. So it says that it's possible with high optimization and a lot of effort that I could possibly come in at there. And so this is what we're looking for. So we're looking to try and get these down to, not red, but down to yellow or green if possible. So you now have some tools here like suggestions. If I click on suggestions, you can look at perhaps something else that you might be able to do. So you're looking through here, see if there's anything there that, that you could do. Or if we, let's just go back to web designer. Let's see if there's, so we saw that earlier. What would this do? So that we know this is being searched for. So there you go, so this is interesting then. So we could have potentially 12,000 views uh, on a video and bearing in mind also YouTube and Google search terms will cover it. Um, subscribers, so I'm, I'm not in the same competition there, but it still thinks I could rank there. Where does it think I could come? So it's saying I could come in the top five, but bearing in mind that's probably due to my lack of subscribers because I'm still quite a new channel. Uh, it says I can get the relevance because there's no competition there. So lots, lots of potential. So if I could do a video that was on web designer versus web developer, if I could do a YouTube video on that too, then there's potential traffic here. And uh, that's the way in which this, this works, is it's looking to give you an idea of what the potential is and then what to, to do a video about. So you notice there that if I did a video, uh, we've got a few here. These have optimized it. So they've tried to optimize for this already. And, um, but then they've not really put any of that information in the first few lines. And this is why the first few lines of a video and your text on a blog is also important. 
So what would I do with this then? Well, I can choose this That's if I was to choose that. And now it's suggesting, okay, how do we get it so that we're really optimized? And what then you can do is you can work through these steps, you can fill these in, and it will even suggest some keywords. And again, you can see whether these keywords will be useful when it comes to your tags. And these tags could be used not only in your YouTube video, but also you could use obviously the keywords when it comes to writing your blog as well. So I just want to give you a quick overview on this. Um, this isn't going to be a detailed one of Morning Fame because there are some videos that do that already. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention. This is a tool that I found really useful. It's a very, very good value for money. There's a free link down below that uh, gives you an invite so you can join. So follow that link and that'll make sure that you can get the invite through. And then you get a free trial. You can trial it, you could use it and just see how whether that gives you some keyword opportunities when it comes to your videos and also just use you could potentially just use this uh, without a YouTube channel in effect and just use it for ranking on blogs as well. Now if you want to know more about video uploads and Google My Business with videos of course with Google you can't uh, use YouTube videos but with Google My Business you need to just upload videos. They've recently just changed it so that you can only now have uh, 75 megabytes of an upload with 30 seconds or less and 720 a resolution or more. So 75 megabytes has come down from the 100 megabytes. So Google isn't looking to make Google My Business a video channel, but of course it does have YouTube. And so once you've got some YouTube videos, you can embed them and link them into your website. Let me just show you how I've done that. So you notice on my website, if I go to say my blog page, or if I click on here, you notice that how to rank in Google Maps 2021. So I would have looked up that search term. That would have been a keyword that I'm aiming for, how to rank in Google Maps. You'll notice that uh, Google Maps again is mentioned naturally here. And you'll notice that that idea of Google Maps and ranking is mentioned again here and so on. But you'll notice as well, as you go down the page, you've then got a video. So why do I use videos? And why am I using videos on my business? Well, the reason being is, is if someone now clicks this and plays it, they may stay there for, let's just see how long the video is. So we're looking at potentially um, what we're talking about. I'm halfway through on this one, but uh, up to 37 minutes. Now Google, when it comes to SEO, it knows that when people go to a website, if they then click on a page and then they then bounce back off it straight away, so they spend two seconds on there, what does that mean to Google? Google sees that as a mark of the fact that people aren't interested in the page. If someone goes to a page and reads it and spends five minutes there, Google sees that as well, that, that's giving a signal to Google that people are interested in the page. If people go to a page and they're watching two or three videos on there, and they're spending 20 or 30 minutes. What do you think that means to Google? It means Google ranks this page as being one of the greatest pages on earth. So on that basis, how many people have really good high quality videos that are of the same topic that someone's found on the internet, of the same topic that the video is about too? In fact, most of my videos uh, integrate the video and the information on the blog page together. And that combination, and with the ability to then point them onto other directions, other videos, that in itself is going to help people to rank. So if you've got a business, why not consider going to Morning Fame, putting in some search keywords, or even finding as a topic, just put a topic in here. So if you were, say, a hairdresser, put a hairdresser on there. If you're, say, a locksmith, put locksmith in there. Or even if you found a video that's inspired you, you can even just put the video link in there and see what comes up. So let's just, uh, let's just do that. Okay, so here's a, a, a video on how to groom your dog. Let's just say that I was a pet shop and I wanted to know um, how to produce a video and a blog about, uh, say, this type of video. Then I can just take this video as an inspiration. So if I take the YouTube uh, video uh, URL, if I now put that into here, so just clear that. So I've got a video link. So if I put that in there, that's the video link. Choose video and it will then analyze the video to see what comes up. So now it gives me some keyword ideas, dog grooming, how to groom a dog, a Maltese grooming, and so on. And you notice this cross means it doesn't, people aren't actually just typing that in, um, but they are typing these in. 
And these are common keywords, these are uncommon ones. And again, if you really want to do well, try something a little bit unusual and people haven't got videos for these things. So let's go, how to cut a dog's hair. Okay, let's just see what that comes up with. So don't forget, we're not looking for red, we're looking for yellow or green. If we can get four greens, even better. So here we've got one yellow, two reds and a green. So it may just be, uh, it says here, aim for 22 or higher, so that's fine, this is 46, that means there's good search volume. Double ticks means that it's found on YouTube and Google, but I can't get there. I'm Because of the way in which YouTube does things, it's just saying it's gonna be too much of a struggle for me. So let's try this one instead. And it's just a case of going through just a quick look up. And this is great because it's just it saved me so much time Ah, now this is looking more promising. So C, so it's just this E here. I'm just not great in that area. Let's try this, but we'll tweak it. So it's all to do with the volume. There's, there's so much volume there. There's so many people searching for this. And uh, that's what it's saying I just won't be able to achieve. But it's saying I can achieve everything else. So what can I do to just get this down a little bit more? So let's try something else then. Um, let's look at suggestions. So what about that? How to trim black dog nails that are overgrown? Okay, that's even harder. That's gone up and that's even more so. So that's it. Let's go back to last suggestion. Let's try something else. How to trim long black dog nails. Okay, that's too difficult too. How to trim small dog black nails. Still difficult. What about if we said safely? and now we don't have a search. So this is why you have really, you have to spend some time, um, but you get the idea. What we're doing is we're looking to find something that we can achieve. Obviously the larger your channel grows, the more you can then hit these ones. You can go for the impossible. So we could go right back to the original suggestion, which was here, and we can then try to use that. But notice if we do go with that, so let's say we, we chose that as being a, it does say the competition's too high. So what I like about this is it's really simple to follow. I don't think there's anyone that couldn't manage to follow the process of this. So do check this out. It is a, a free trial. And if you use the link down below, then it will take you through. You do need an invite as well. So the invite will be down below for you. But even more important is also having the right videos on your channel. And that's a whole new strategy that I'm also looking at at this time. So you'll want to make sure you see this video next and that will show you what this new strategy is. I'll see you there.